What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Well, tonight we get some shit to talk about. And this was actually brought to me, brought to my attention by the motherfuckers over at Get Big. So, what's up, Get Big? Fucking rock on. I've actually been a member there for a very long time. Um, I just lurk on there now because, you know, it it has a lot of good information fast, guys. I'll be honest with you. You know, some people don't like the trolls and shit and they have a hard time dealing with it. But when something happens, um, in the bodybuilding world, it's on Get Big like two seconds later. Like it happens, like if I, somebody's fucking punches somebody, by the time their hand comes back, it's on Get Big already. I don't know, it fucking makes no sense. But anyways, they put up a post about Chris Bumstead, who won Classic Physique. And he, he was first place, obviously. And then the guy who got last place, right? It was like, what's the difference between first and last place? Now, usually there's a great discrepancy, right? Even back in the day when everybody was awesome at the Olympia in the open division and stuff, there was, you could see who was first and who was last. Like, it, like it was like the elite, and then it came down to um, who did or didn't nail their, you know, well, yeah, who didn't, didn't nail their conditioning and then structure, and then it kind of folded down from there, people missing body parts and stuff. But first and last, big difference, right? So they put up the pictures of Chris side by side with this individual. I don't even know his name. Whoever got last place, right? And I'm looking at him, and I'm like, what the fuck happened here? Like, I don't know if there was a comparison between Chris and him, I don't know if this guy just tightened up for the night show, which could have been. Also, when you're judging from pictures, not as easy as it is in person to tell what the fuck is really going on. However, if they rejudged Saturday night from Friday night, if they had prejudging and they rejudged, this guy should have absolutely been put side by side with Chris Bumstead. Because if Chris won, this guy actually doesn't just hold his own. But he beats Chris Bumstead in some of these poses. I'm going to break it down right now from the pictures. Okay, could have been totally different in person, which that would throw this whole thing out the window. But there's been kind of some rumblings going on about, you know, why did Chris win? Why did Chris didn't? Some people think he didn't deserve to win. They go, you know, um, George the, the Bull Prep, George the Prep Bull, however the fuck you say his last name. Like, he was more of a bodybuilder. He is actually is moving into the 212 class now to get out of um, Classic Physique because he... He sucks down and he doesn't have the necessary structure, the beauty that some of these other guys have. But Breon, I had Breon winning until that last fucking pose. So I'm like, you know, had Breon opened up himself in that last pose instead of staying crunched up, I feel like he would have beat Chris. So it's not like Chris is unbeatable and it was a, you know, a, a massacre. He came out there and killed everybody. But I'm like, why the fuck wasn't this guy in last place at least compared to Chris, like one-on-one? -on -one? Because if Breon couldn't beat Chris... This guy, he beat him in some poses. So I, this guy, instead of last place, should have been in the top two or three. But anyways, so we're going to go through this. So we're going to break it down looking at it right now. So this first one is the um, the side tricep. However, both of these guys hit the front side tricep, which is very Lee Labrada-esque. Um, I see Chris hitting it from this pose, from this, this angle, more of the bodybuilding pose. And I see this other individual with the dark hair hitting it in the very classics. Right off the bat, the guy that placed last is actually doing the pose correct. Now, I'm gonna start head to toe. I look, Chris obviously has bigger traps, okay? So he's got them there. We get into the chest. This dude's chest is just as developed as Chris's. He's got a shorter chest top to bottom. Chris's chest is longer. But this dude's chest is better conditioned. If you look at the delts, his delts are better conditioned. You can see the striations, the thinness of the skin, the hardness, the gnarly hardness, the graininess. The delt insertions, the guy last place is better. It's harder and more, it's much more clear than Chris's. And Chris won the whole fucking thing. He's the Mr. Olympia classic physique. You go down through the stomach and the midsection, I'd say they're about even there. I'd say actually the guy that got last place, if you look at his serratus a little bit, you can see him a little bit deeper than Chris's. Chris looks a little bit smooth towards the bottom of the oblique. However, I mean, it's close. Chris has bigger glutes. You can actually see him from the front the way he's standing, which whatever, they're not really looking at the glutes in this pose though. Forearms are about the same. Triceps, I'd say the guy in last place's triceps actually look better than Chris's in this pose. His quads absolutely look better. Chris's legs look a little bit bigger, but his quads are harder top to bottom. They're, they're dry, they're vascular. He has more of a classic look than Chris does in this one pose, right? And he's doing the pose correct. Chris and him have similar calves, but his calves are harder. So I'm like, man, if I had to judge this pose, I give it to the guy in last place and he's going against the Mr. Olympia fucking, the classic physique Mr. Olympia. The guy in last place, it beat him in this pose, but they were never compared. I'm like, fuck, this is crazy, right? Now we move on to the back double bicep. This one is really interesting. So first of all, this guy's color, his tan, is way better than Chris's. He's got that, that kind of reddish pop to it where Chris's is almost kind of flat. If you start going through the back, Chris has trapezius that are very much more separated in, uh, in the, kind of the middle, where um, this guy has some gnarly 
hardness though, some striations and hardness in it. So it's like trap wise and the real double wise. I'm like, okay, it's a tie. Delts, you can see the last place guy's front delts popped way up over his chest. Chris is a little bit flatter. Chris's elbows are actually down a little bit further down here instead of up, but maybe he was in transition to the pose. So you got to give him to, give that to him right there, right? But the delts, the hardness of the delts, like the separation from the delt and the tricep, the guy last place is better, right? We move on to the arms. Chris's biceps are better. Um, the guy in last place, his brachialis is better. You go to the rear delts. His rear delts, the last place guy's rear delts are separated more. His teres, I mean, it's separated more. You go to the mid-back. His mid-back is actually thicker than Chris's. His lats are not as high. Chris's lats are wider. Um, so you got to give Chris a little bit on the size, but size alone doesn't win. So now you look at the mid, mid of the back. Chris looks a little, well, Chris's trunks are a little bit smaller. When you start moving down, you start to get to the glutes. Chris's glutes are obviously more strided than uh, the last place guys, which, okay, you give that part to Chris. Their legs, I say Chris's legs are slightly bigger. However, this guy's hamstrings and stuff, they're drier. His quads are drier. His calves, I'd say, as far, they're two different types of looks. So this pose, I'd go, okay, this is a tie. Like, I wouldn't even give it to one guy or the other. If you flip the coin, i say whichever one fucking wins, wins, because they both have strengths and weaknesses, but... You know, I think mass is what's lacking on this guy who got last place, but mass isn't just who wins, right? That's not how that works. So I'm looking at it going, all right, so now we give the first pose, this tricep, to the guy who in last place. We give the back double bicep a tie. Okay, so now we're one, we're tied one and one point to the guy who got last place. We come down to the side chest. I look, from this angle, the traps don't look very much different. And Chris has a longer neck, which that doesn't really count to much. When you get into the delts, the guy in last place, his delt separation is harder. His brachialis is better. His tricep is better. Like the, the forearm insertion itself looks better. The side chest itself, the chest. Chris has some deeper kind of striations in his chest. But now you look at the other shoulder where this guy, you know, this last place guy, in his brachialis, his tricep, his shoulder looks better the way he's opened it up to the side a little bit than Chris's. If you go down to the side below Chris's chest, below the last guy, the guy in last place, his serratus is showing up. He's flexing out serratus. Chris is sucking in his stomach. Now he looks harder. We're looking at that detail as a judge from top to bottom, even in that serratus. We get down to where the glutes are. Chris's glutes are, they are bigger. Chris has a bigger ass in general, which is glutes look a bit of a harder, but strided glutes don't win the show. Like strided glutes don't win the show. Dave Palumbo had strided glutes his whole fucking life since birth pretty much, and he didn't even turn pro. So it's not about that, right? So you look at like the proportions are similar, the masses. I mean, from this, this pose specifically, because of the trunks that the guy in last place, they're bigger. It makes it look like his legs are not as big as Chris's, which the sweep is maybe not as good, but he's fucking harder. He's drier. His symmetry is good. You know, their calves, I'd say his calves from the side actually beat Chris's in the detail and the vascularity and shit. So I'm like, fuck it. This one, this this goes to the guy in last place. He wins this. So you're down. He wins two fucking poses and they're tied for one. This is first and last place. The front lat spread. This is a pose that I really like on Chris. It reminds me of a Dorian Yates pose when he does it. The way his structure is, the way the muscles pop. Now, the first thing I notice, Chris's delts have some kind of points to them, which usually to me is indicative of injection sites. Now, Chris has got a longer neck, right? Traps are really kind of not seen in this one. His chest is longer than the guy um, from last place. However, the guy in last place, if you look at the delts, the, the hardness, the separation of the delts, the arms and stuff, even the lats, his lats are just as, actually his lats are bigger than Chris's from the front. His serratus on the side, underneath where his lats insert to his side, are thicker and more clearly defined. His rib cage is higher. Chris's abs show up a little bit better. It looks like his waist might be a little bit smaller. And when you get down to the legs, Chris's feet are apart a little more, which makes it appear that his legs are bigger. But this guy, I mean, his legs are just as dry. I mean, I'm looking on right now. I would absolutely give this pose to the guy from last fucking place. I'm sitting here going, fuck, that's three poses out of four just from these pictures that I would give the guy in last place and Chris is the one who won. And I'm like, what the fuck? And if you read the stuff, they're like, well, you know, Chris was like the golden child and they had to put him first and stuff. I thought, honestly, him and Breon battled it down to the wire and I thought that the call from going from Breon to Chris was the right call because of the fact that Breon, just that last pose, it came down to one pose between him and Chris. That's a, that's a, that's a close fucking show, right? But this guy's last place. He wasn't even the fucking running. He just beat Mr. Olympia, classic physique Mr. Olympia, and four, uh, three out of the four poses. I'm like, holy fuck, like, what the hell is going on here? And I've never seen a last place guy be so close to first place where you could actually compare them and go, I don't know who would win. Like, that's unbelievable. So that basically that says everybody in the classic physique really fucking brought it. And I think the weight class and the height class has a lot to do with that because you can't get too big in the offseason. 
you have to say a certain size because you got to fit inside that weight and height class, which they're having to come in fucking lean. They got to get peeled to get their asses inside that weight class, right? The open class, there's no fucking weight class. There's no height class. All they have to be is above 212. Big fucking deal. The guys in 212 usually come in harder than the guys in the big class, the open class, because they got to fit in a weight class. You know, barring the fact that we see someone like um, Derek Lunsford who just didn't nail his conditioning, I really think that was, you know, last minute fucking fuck up somewhere. Like, usually the guys are harder in the 212 divisions. But now I'm looking at it going, fuck, I didn't even, I mean, I was, didn't really honestly pay attention. I paid attention to Breon, who his friend, his girlfriend Danny is a friend of mine. And I love Breon. But, you know, Chris, I don't really know him. I've spoken to him a few times. Seems like a cool, super cool guy. And I like him. But I'm looking at it going, you know, personalities or whether you like somebody, it has to go out the fucking window when you're judging someone on stage. It doesn't fucking matter how nice they are, how cool they are. It doesn't fucking matter. All that matters is the physique. And here we have a guy that clearly can hang with the fucking first place, you know, winner of the classic physique. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Either one of two things happened. The judges didn't notice him, which actually happens on stage sometimes. You get lost in the shuffle. It's happened before plenty of times. Or the guy that got last place was so off his peak on Friday or the, the prejudging that when they came back to the, the finals, maybe they didn't even do a rejudging. Maybe they didn't do a confirmation round. Maybe they didn't go back through the whole lineup. Maybe they know prejudging was it. You got that one chance, you know, like, and if you didn't and you tightened up, oh, well, it turns out like this. You know, you look like you could be you could have beat the fucking champion if he came in tight. But if that motherfucker, and I'd have to go back and look at the um the actual footage, which I haven't done yet. I still have a lot of time. That motherfucker, if he came in prejudging like that, and Chris was like that at prejudging. Now, again, this is also the, the night show, which Chris could have softened up a little. He could have been harder in the morning. I mean, the, the prejudging and softer at the night show. Like, so many things could have happened. But just based on these alone, it shows that classic physique is the class to watch. We don't know what the fuck is going to happen year to year. Because not only are these guys getting better, but there are new guys popping in with great genetics, great structure, great symmetry, And they're getting fucking hard as shit to get into these fucking weight classes. Man, this is now, to me... Classic physique is exciting now, right? It's not so much the open anymore. I'm looking at this going, fuck, who knows next year? Like, you know, these guys posing on their own, they all look like Mr. Open. They all look like they could fucking win. You get them all on stage, there are subtle differences, but it's harder to judge the classic physique than is the open. The open was like, boom, 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 done. Classic, you're like, all right, it comes down to one fucking pose between two guys. Like, that, that is, that's exciting, right? So, I don't know, you guys see the pictures up there. Tell me what you guys think, like... Freeze frame them. Pause it. Look at these fucking pictures. Compare Chris to the fucking... This, I gotta find out this guy's name. I don't know what the fuck his name is, but... This guy, absolutely. If that's what he looks like this year and he just got last place... Like, people should be looking for that motherfucker next year. If he could have taken out Chris this year and wasn't noticed... That motherfucker needs to get on social media. Be posting like a motherfucker year-round. Take these pictures of him compared to Chris. He should be posting these on his social media. He should be putting out Facebook ads of those fucking posts flooding the fucking internet as much as he can so people know who the fuck he is and the fact that he looked that good and he came that close and get his fucking name out there so when he walks out there and he's in fucking better condition he's bigger than he was now and you know I mean, of course Chris is going to improve Brian's going to improve this guy could be in the fucking running next year I mean he was in the running this year but nobody fucking knew him I was like holy shit now I'm like I'm getting, I'm getting enthused again I'm like oh this is cool this is fucking exciting let's Let's keep up with this now. So now I'll be kind of watching throughout the year. I think Chris is going to be a great ambassador for the sport. I think he's got a great look. He's a good dude. I think, you know, there's nothing to take away from whatsoever. This is purely just a physique thing. And I'm, I mean, like I said, there are variables that I may not know that went into the prejudging. And both of them may have looked completely different in the prejudging. But at the night show, this fucking last place dude beat the classic Mr. Olympia. How the fuck is that possible? competition is so stiff so keep an eye on all these guys because i do believe that this is the future of the division we will see the freaks coming along coming along but i honestly believe that classic physique is the future of bodybuilding in general and even physique for a certain point but classic physique technically physique is not bodybuilding the board shorts they don't do the poses but classic physique that is the future of bodybuilding there hands down there's no doubt in my mind that moving into the future this is going to be um be the division you know a lot of times we move forward so much that we forget where we came from and we got to take a step back to get our shit together just like women's bodybuilding went in one direction we had to take a step back to, to women's physique and now they're reinstating bodybuilding but they have fucking rules they're like listen don't fuck around and get these bloated guts and blocky and fucked up gargoyle faces on these fucking women because we're going to pull this shit again if you do it so be aware fucking follow the guidelines don't look like a fucking knucklehead like and, and we'll keep this going so i think bodybuilding's the same way like 
they're not going to do away with the open class, but watching classic physique and these guys doing that well and looking like that, these guys got to step it up in the open class or people are not going to go. The attendance issue was fucking poor because of the open, not because of these classes. People wanted to see these classes open. They didn't give a fuck. So all we can do is see what happens. BowserChang at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight, Bowserchang. Dot comes the blog. It's, we'll see what happens. Bicep, and we are out.